Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you new here, I'm Carrie. I'm Bob and in 2022, <laughs> Carrie and I searched long and hard for a new way of living because we got tired of high property taxes, bad town politics, crappy neighbors. Well, we found RV life and just like everybody else who buys a brand new RV, we have a GoPro, we made a YouTube channel. Wait, well, no, that's not how it all goes, but well, you get the point. Today, Carrie is going deep into the book of knowledge. These are things that have come up in the past year that, well, we felt were worthy of sharing with the community at large. For those of you wondering, today we're in Texas still. We're in Medina Lake with Lake Hills, Texas. Beautiful mountain scenery behind us. There's no lake here. So people, nope. stop complaining on RV Life Pro Campground Reviews that there's no lake. You dry it up. There's a drought. It'll come back in a couple of years. Today is something we really want to touch on because we experienced this firsthand in Missouri at the last RV park that we were at. Somebody that we got to know pretty well while we were there. Well, they had a medical emergency and it caused a lot of questions to come up about, well, what happens when something like this happens and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you know any, don't know anybody, No. you need some assistance. Well, that's what we're going to cover today. For a little bit of background, Carrie here is, uh, well, she's not used to people being on the living side. Uh, she has a background in, well, funerals. Uh, but part of that came with the ambulance department and stuff yeah. of that nature. So Carrie does have a background <laughs> that actually was able to assist in a lot of these questions that did come up. So we're going to let you read off and oh, wow. I'll help you here. And, you uh, are so putting me on the spot on this one. I wanna, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, why don't you give <laughs> Carrie a big thumbs up. She's come a long way in this whole talking thing. I want two enthusiastic thumbs up. Yeah, all the way up. <laughs> all right, what do we got, All Carrie? right, number one, know your location. Now, this is very important uh, because there's a lot of times we don't know our location. We know what state we're in. And sometimes barely <laughs> that. Um, in, in fact, some of these videos that we say where we are, we actually have to have the discussion off camera because I forgot where we were. We've been here for three weeks. You would think that I would know. But part of this lifestyle is changing all the time. And uh, that's a big thing. So not only know your location, but make sure that people know that you know your location. Uh, and what yep. I mean by that is have it written down somewhere, have it on the, we keep a whiteboard now on a refrigerator and uh, you can put your location there too. It comes in handy. We haven't done that yet though. No, we haven't. But I did you a picture of a little doggy and that's yeah, on there. I know. All right, number two updated emergency contacts on phone yeah especially today's age if you have a smartphone uh, there's a part in the smartphone most apple phones and i know yeah. androids do as well there's an emergency contact information where emergency services personnel can get into your phone it doesn't uh they don't see everything else they just see the sos contact information yep. make sure you have like somebody who at least knows where you are knows who you are or if you have any major medical conditions uh, allergy stuff like that it should be in that portion of that phone because that can mean the matter of life and death for emergency services to help you sure thing and number three is life 360 so we have this and i call it lifelock 360 <laughs> because does. carrie's always searching the kids out you never uh, know. We, I worry. I don't care how old they are. <laughs> we decided to use Life360 for our kids to know where we were in case something like this ever happened. The added benefit is we can find out where they are. Yeah. So even if they're 20s, if they're doing a bar crawl somewhere or a pub crawl or whatever you kids call it today, yeah. we know that you're getting in at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. sometimes, Amelia. And RJ. Uh, <laughs> but Life360 seriously is yeah. a great thing. It doesn't cost anything for the basic version, no. which is just basically tells you where somebody is. At the very least, it gives you the last known location. So, I mean, it gives you something to go by. A starting point, yeah. especially if authorities ever had to yep. look for you. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yep. Next one. So, near services like hospital, police department, now, kind prior, of know your surroundings a little. Yeah, and prior to all this with uh, what happened in Missouri, the only thing we ever looked for was a post office and a grocery store. Post office to mail out postcards and a grocery store because, well, big boy got to eat. And uh, <laughs> a part of that now is, well, we actively try to find out at least where the nearest hospital is mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, that might make a difference too. Some of these places that we're at are very remote, oh. as you can see. 
There's no shopping mall here. There's no, you know, whatever. Um, I could probably get her to the hospital faster than somebody could get to me at this particular point, well, if I know where I'm going. A lot of the parks too that were at like the Thousand Trails ones, if you actually read the little welcome thing that I never did, they tell you where the, the police station is, the local hospital, um, animal hospital, things like that. It, it, they put it all out there. Which I just don't ever read it. And, that, and that's a good point, because a lot of times, I had forgotten all about that, that a lot of the high-end resorts that we've been at have been the same way, where yeah. they have the local hospital pet stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. What else is in the book of knowledge? Okay? Anywho, first aid kit, because... He goes through a lot of band-aids. No, it, oh my God. <laughs> so part of being, well, Carrie and I, before being full-time RVers, we're hikers and we like to be out whenever possible. Yep. Um, and we've always learned to carry a first aid kit. I keep one in our truck. We keep mm -hmm. one in our RV as well because you just never know when you're going to need it. It's come in handy a couple of times as I've slashed my hands changing tires mm -hmm. or done something stupid and went, what's that? And put my finger in it. And next thing I almost lost my finger. Yeah. She should usually uh, take care of it for me. Yep. Next. Your list of medications. Yeah. Now, this is a good one, too, is, uh, and we're not talking about the THC tablets you got hidden in the back underneath your dinette table. We're talking about, you know, hardcore medications that can cause yeah. allergic reactions. You might want to list that. And I've seen a lot of uh, people even recommend just stuff that you take on the daily that's not prescribed, vitamins, whatever, all of that just because there are interactions with a lot of today's in the original containers yeah if, if and you that's can. tough but yeah. i mean if you can do it that it's better something a little off topic about emergencies uh and medication <laughs> about being in the original containers a lot of that will come true as you travel across states that you want to make sure that you have that yeah uh in its a original form because if you ever get pulled over and searched, it's not a good thing. But no. anyhow, I digress. All right. Anyhow, know your rig. What? Couple switch. Oh, boy. What's that? Uh, so couple switch up duties. Uh, all right. Yeah, this is a big one. Uh, this scares me. Now, Carrie and I, we've made no bones about it. We have very traditional roles within our relationship. Um, she handles certain things and I handle certain things. And we've learned by watching other people is to make sure that you each know the other person's roles. Uh, we made it a point now that Carrie knows how to hook up the rig. She knows how to maneuver around and Carrie actually has been starting to learn how to drive um, while towing, which is something that I've always handled uh, even in our cross country yeah. modes where we had to do it back when we were part timers and we drove for 18 hours straight. Um, I've always done it and now we're turning the wheels over to Carrie. It's stressful. It, it really is. I couldn't imagine doing it all the time, especially the cities that we go through sometimes. It, yeah. <laughs> the, the <laughs> other side, but I mean, that could be the big difference that we're, yeah. you know, if, if I'm down and say I'm in a hospital somewhere and you know, you, you have to move on to the next one, or maybe I just die. Hey. You need to get to the next place. I don't know. Hey, but it happens, right? No. Um, you need to be able to move on and you've got to know that system. And there's a lot of stuff that she does on the inside that I didn't even know we had to do. Oh my God, we have to put things away. I didn't know. I just thought it should, we showed up somewhere. It was nice. Cell service or slash Wi-Fi calls, Wi-Fi calls. Oh, cell service. I thought you were saying self-service. I'm like, I can pump my own gas. It's <laughs> self-serve. Cell service is a big <laughs> one. Um, over the next few weeks, you're going to see this come up a lot with us in about emergency prep. Um, and cell coverage being a big thing. No, do your research ahead of time knowing what services are available where you are, like where we are here. Um, our Verizon phone works and Verizon data coverage is fairly decent. Um, T-Mobile was not so hot. Uh, we've heard AT&T is not so great. And uh, Starlink, well, a lot of trees here, so it can be not right yeah. here, but um, <laughs> where we are. And that can be pretty hard to deal with. The other part of that is we'd like to have something that we have a battery backup. So if we're stuck in the middle of Nebraska somewhere and there's nothing for 100 miles, um, if that's even a thing in Nebraska, but the uh, we can fire up our Starlink and we can make a phone call just plugged into the battery. Uh, we have something to get us going. Mm -hmm. So make sure you know what your, your coverage is and make sure you know if you have a smartphone, turn on Wi-Fi calling. It can make a big difference as to how you can get out there for help. And your favorite 
What's that? Introduce yourself to your neighbors. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about chicken nuggets. I love me a good chicken nugget. Oh, those are good. Yeah, you know, as much as Carrie and I have joked over the past uh, few months about being introverts, which we are, um, we will go out of our way to avoid people whenever possible because, well, you know, people kind of, they bother you. Um, you know, it is nice to introduce yourself to your neighbors at the very least. Get to know the staff at every one of these yeah. parks. doesn't take much. The front desk here, her <laughs> name is Lily, and she was fantastic. And uh, Lily knows that if she doesn't see me out walking every day, that something happened that Carrie cut me into little pieces and threw me out to the deers. But it is a good thing to at least let your neighbors know, especially if you're going to be taken off for a long period of time, yeah. too. Because we've seen this in a couple of our V parks that we've been at, where the, the cops got called because, well, they didn't know what happened to Gertrude. And uh, come to find out, Gertrude took off for the weekend. She had a girl's date week or something like that. And they went to the casinos and had a few drinks. But, you know, police were knocking on the door, almost broke it down because they couldn't Good find Gertrude. Good for Gertrude. Gertrude. Yeah, she's having a hell of a time. <laughs> But these, I, it also, so we make some jokes and some things here, but there are steps that you should take, especially if you're mm -hmm. like us, where your kids are thousands of miles away and you're kind of out here on your own just doing it, which is what this lifestyle is about, right? But you should have something so that if you are down, um, you're not a burden to somebody else and they know how to get a hold of you. Somebody and, should always know where you are. Absolutely. And uh, hey, for those of you wondering, yeah. I keep an air tag on her all the time too, just in case she gets lost. Is that what that beeping is? Yeah, no. don't you worry about <laughs> you it. You left Carrie behind. <laughs> is there something that you can recommend that uh, we can add to this list for <clears throat> our next round uh, yep. a year from now when we revisit this topic? Let us know in the comments below if there's uh, something we said wrong, correct us. If there's something that you like, let us know as well. There and don't go. forget, give Carrie a couple of enthusiastic thumbs ups. For Wife Redesigned, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. We'll catch you guys <laughs> in the next one.